Well, it was the coldest day of the year yesterday. Um, pretty bloody cold. Cold polar blast coming through the country. Um, that's not to say it wasn't cold today. So that's why I am rigged up before the game tonight. All right, let's get into a beer review. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. Um, yeah, uh, fuck, it's been really cold. So I've been out in the bar because that's where I live. Um, anyway, I've got a new one here for us today called Focus, Focus, Urbanaut, Urbanaut. The, the chaps at Urban Order bought us First Press 9 Mandarin Hazy IPA. Um, float along a hazy river of fresh cut citrus aromas, tangy and zesty mandarin with wandering notes of mango and ripening stone fruit from the mosaic cryo and citra hops, or citra cryo hops. These juicy fruit characters are underpinned by a smooth and luscious body laden with wheat and oats, giving this beer a sweet and lazy disposition, perfect for enjoying on a slow afternoon in the last light of day. Well, it's about that time. It's about five. It's sort of becoming dark. Um, and it is, well, it's the end of the day. Um, now, it says on here, first press, it's got a nine in it. I, I don't know what that is. For, so first press nine Mandarin Hazy IPA. So did a bit of research probably got it wrong um, but if you know what first press means just let me know but from what I understand it's the first uh, lot of shit you take off the the beer so, so when you're brewing your beer it's the first lot that comes off then you can throw other stuff in it and some beer companies will make two to three brews different of each sparging I think it's called of each um, brew that they're making um, yeah but this is first press no, I don't know what it means if you know what it means fucking comments tell me tell me I don't know what I'm talking about because I fucking I actually don't um, but Mandarin has the IPA I'm hoping that this is a really that Mandarin type um, aroma that comes off the Mandarin flowers what do they call it? Satsuma or something. Something just like that. Anyway, glass, beer, get together right now in the glass. Cooking sausages for dinner tonight. I've got the smash plate on the ugly drum and it got a little bit hot. The old plate got wickedly hot, so I've had to remove the sausages. Well, the dogs are hanging around because they can smell them um, because they were about to cremate themselves. Um, I'll put a piece of bacon on there and uh, yeah, let's just say it disintegrated. Um, anyway, sniff. Oh, yes, yes. Wow, that's heavily mandarin scented. And not like not, not left, right scented, it's scented like smells like mandarin. Wow, that is so cool. Because I don't think they put mandarin juice in here. That's just hops making that smell. That's so good. What do you want? You're not getting my sausage. Go on, off you go. Dogs. Now that's so, that does smell so good. Stop going around there. Yep, that smells good. Bitter, little like bitter when you're drinking it, but not. It doesn't hang. It has those citrus notes. The mandarin notes are very, very prominent. Um, very nice, and it's not. It's not the scent of the flower. It's the mandarin fruit. The little peel the bits out. It's that. It is really, really good. Yep, yeah, that's a that's a keeper. That's one to put in your. I'm going to try this one, <coughs> Urbanaut. 
the the um, the lads from Kingsland. Um, yeah, man, that is good. It's a 5.7. I forgot to tell you that. It's a 5.7 uh, hazy. Brilliant. Brilliant. You go. Get your laughing gear around this one. Another beer review from the Beer Sergeant.